to me, the fellows. So here's what we have in mind for this one. The idea actually came to us by accident, which happens with us fairly often. So look, you will see that right here I've got a wheel, with the tire mounted and everything, and also I've got this wonderful thing, which is a seatbelt latch. And this one is very old of the type, um, you know what, I can't really identify it straight off the bat. It must be for a very early model, made in the USSR and so on. So that's all good. And the thing with these is they're designed to handle enormous load. As for the wheel, that attaches with the help of four bolts, which, as you might imagine, hold it on real tight. They're also under a huge load. So yeah, this, as we all know, is under a lot of stress. And so why don't we try and make a quick release mechanism for a wheel? Using uh, seatbelt latches like the one I've got right here. Yeah, let's throw all of it together and see how much stress these can actually handle. Will they even be able to keep the wheel on the car? Well, let's set up the quick release mechanism and find out. Let's do this. Quick wheel release mechanism out of seatbelt latches. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. And so here's where the build process has gotten us. You will see that the axle shaft has been removed from the axle. The reason for that being uh, it's way easier to work with it that way. And check this out. We've removed a bunch of stuff, hacked off anything we won't be needing, and take a look at how we've positioned the buckles themselves. We've got them placed on a ring we welded together out of rebar, the ring in turn we've welded to the axle shaft, as you can see. As for the metal plates, those we've welded to the wheels. That which dangles on the strap and goes into the buckle. So that's four points, everything is good. And hopefully it all holds up okay. And yeah, this is a true quick release. Right there. You can see the push buttons, all four of them. And uh, to be able to push all four at once, we're gonna have to make some kind of special tool. Right, here's the tool. What, you don't think that was quick? I sure think it was. And so this thing... We'll be stuffing back into the axle, the shaft, as well as... This here release mechanism. And I expect this to be quite durable because, well, these latches can bear enormous load, like I've already mentioned. So yeah, let's put everything back together, as in fit the axle shaft to the car, mount this wheel and proceed to the testing. Let's do this.
So check this out, the buckles are in place, and their counterparts are welded to the wheel. So now let's grab our wheel, which we've marked in a couple of spots, click, and the wheel is in place. And good luck ripping this off. Now we are going to take that key of ours, which we've showed you before. And the wheel can be removed. That was quick. Almost like in Formula One racing. And prior to the most interesting part, which would be the testing, we do want to try and see how securely it's sitting on there. But let's do a contest. No, this won't be a fair contest. What, just like take the wheel off and then put it back on, or what? Off, put it on the floor, and put it back on. Let's do it. You heard them, right? We will hold a contest. But not with wrenches. Oh, look at those cheaters with their rattle guns ready. Here there won't be any rattle guns involved. But we're gonna remove the wheel and uh, put it on the floor, right? And then put it back on. So here's what we're doing, guys. On this side we have Sergei with a rattle gun, which is gonna get the job done fast. He used to work at a tire shop, so he should do really well. And here we have Nikolai. Have you ever worked at a tire shop? But he was the one who welded those latches to the axle shaft, the sliders to the wheel. Place your bets on who's gonna be faster. <laughs> but knowing Serge? <laughs> Meanwhile, you make sure not to get tangled over there. Right, I'm gonna keep quiet now. Okay, ready, steady, go. There we are. Holy cow. Wow, you did that simultaneously. Stop. You can stop. We have a winner. I mean, uh, you might have had it on a bit crooked. In any case, this guy's ready for a Formula One Grand Prix. 17 seconds, that's pretty good. Sergey only had time to undo it, drop it, and put it back on. Haha, <laughs> and that's it. Hey, that was quick. Uh, there's the time. It's just 17 seconds. Laugh all you want, but that was really quick. Now it's just a matter of the durability testing. And, uh, yeah, well, all of the load is going to be put onto these studs, and the latch's job is to just keep the wheel fastened. So let's bring the car down, and uh, go try this out on the street. On the actual battlefield, so to speak. Let's do this. Excellent. And here we go. Testing the quick release wheel. So far, so good. I hear some rubbing. Oh, this is running a welded div. That would mean even more load. Then with an open diff, as you might imagine. With both wheels turning at the same speed all the time. Wheels are right. The wheel didn't fall off during the first turn. I think we should be all right from here on out. Yeah, driving like nobody's business. But then, uh, what else were we expecting? I quite like that it's hanging on. Having it pop off would have been worse. But it's not, and that's nice. I mean, this gives you an idea of how much load these latches are meant to bear. That load would be ginormous, and they seem to be holding their own. I mean, we are running four, so that would be four times more. Uh 
Let's try reversing. No trouble at all. I'm giving it a tad more throttle than I was before. Not a whole lot more. And they're holding up beautifully. Terrific. What'll happen if I give it more throttle? I say we find out. We good. They're holding up. No problem at all. Four latches. Quick release. This turned out great. Granted, you do need a key, but whatever. You can actually do without it, though that would take a bit longer. It's doable. Better do some more serious testing. Like, get pedal happy. Those were some nasty noises. Oh, yum. Holy cow. Look at all of that smoke. They held up wonderfully. And so this all turned out very well indeed. So four seatbelt latches held the rear wheel of a rear drive car on with no trouble at all. I mean, we saw wheel spin, we did some driving, and uh, you would have seen me turn at various speeds, and given that this is fitted with a welded diff, the wheels are experiencing quite a bit more stress, as they're rotating at the same speed all the time. The radiuses were all different, and this severely increases the load on the driveline and on the wheels. But the mechanism held up just fine. Those four latches coped with enormous stress, just as four bolts would have, though they do get ripped out sometimes, but hey. But at the end of the day this worked, this was great. Somebody actually might have suggested something similar. Anyway, the wheel held on tight, it's easy to remove and fit back. This uh, would require wheels that are tailored to the purpose, but those are the consequences. But this worked, it's all good. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. That's it for today, catch you later.